All right, in this problem, it's a little bit different. Even though they gave us a table of values, yes, they're asking us to only use what? How many points? Two points. So eventually they're going to do something like this. They're eventually going to take away the other points. Okay. So let's pretend the rest of the table is not here. Okay. The first thing I need to do is I don't like that color. Find the B value, the common ratio. And to find the common ratio, R, I'm going to take the second over the first. Second over the first. I'm going to use our best friend, fractions. The second that I'm talking about is the second um, the second y value. So let's write that. Two sevenths over the first. What is the first y value in that list? Two. Why didn't I highlight it? Two. So let's go ahead and simplify 2 sevenths divided by 2. Two sevenths divided by 2. These are exactly the same, right? This is a vertical uh, division, and this is horizontal. Class, the division sign turns into? How do you make 2 a fraction? And what do you do with that? Take the reciprocal. So what does that become? 1 over 2. You can just multiply across. What do you get? Which reduces to what? Let me, let me show you. Hopefully, maybe you didn't know. The reason why they call it cross-canceling is on one side of the equation is because those 2's, 2 divided by 2 is 1. You're left with 1 7. So our R value, or our B value, is equal to 1 7. All right, let's teach you something else. Okay, so that means that if I'm going here, from here to here, 2 times 2 sevenths, what number am I multiplying by? 1 seventh. Yes? Okay, pay attention. If I'm multiplying by 1 7th going in this direction, I have to kind of have this number. So my second thing that I'm doing is find the A. How do I find the A? Well, I want it to be 0, yes? So if I'm multiplying by some number, and, and you can just do a, a math problem, square times 1 7th, let me show you some weird way. Square times 1 7th equals 2. What does a box equal to? How did you get 14? I multiplied this whole expression by 7, both sides by 7, right? Because this is 7 over 7, which is 1, so the box is equal to 14. Now think of it. Let me, let me show you an easier way. If this is really dividing by 7, what's the opposite of dividing by 7? Pay attention. Going the opposite direction is multiplying by 7. So that is a second way you can get 14. If I already know I'm going this way is 1 7th, that's dividing by 7. The opposite way is multiplying by 7 that gives you 14. So I have an A value that is 14. Partner A, tell partner B the equation for... Uh, exponential functions. Mm -hmm. Anthony, what's our equation? Oh, uh, f of x equals 14 parentheses 17. So a, b, x, and you substitute it in, what'd you get? 14. 14 times 1 7th. 1 7th. 
to the x power. And class, are you going to uh, multiply 14 times 1 7th? No. That's our answer.